Legacy was founded in 1992 on a very simple concept, which was to design the perfect fitting baseball cap with a throwback old school flair to it. 25 years later, we've evolved into a complete lifestyle brand, but still to this day, with a vintage inspiration and a perfect fit to every product that we make. What we found is once we designed the perfect fitting baseball cap, we couldn't get it made on time to satisfy our customers' demands. So the first step we took into the manufacturing realm was we bought a 20 head Barrett and embroidery machine in 1995. And we were operating out of my home at that time. And so at great expense and toil, we moved it somehow into the basement of our house. Now we have over 500 embroidery heads running here 20 hours a day, five days a week. Legacy's roots are in small town Hanover, Pennsylvania. That's where I was born and raised and we have a great sense of our humble beginnings. Here we are with a size and a scale that I would have never dreamed of into products that scale beyond headwear, we're in apparel and we're in home decor, but always with the constant of that uh, casual, broken in feel to our products. They have to fit great and be comfortable and they always have some element of vintage inspiration behind them. I was drawn to the Legacy booth at the very first show. There was just something about the design and quality of their products I really hadn't seen before, taking it back to the vintage logo. We are so proud of our locations and of our history, and I feel like Legacy and their designs just helps our brand showcase that. You know, if we get stuck in the position, you know, one week we have a whiteout, next week we're off, and the following week we have another whiteout. You know, we're out of white hats. We pick up the phone Monday morning, Call Legacy, and they're able to get us the hats back on the shelf, you know, in time for that second game, which is just, it's incredible. So one of the things I like about the caps is the fact that the minimums are pretty low, so 15 per color, 30 per logo uh, is really great, so you don't have to really invest like a whole bunch to, to find out if a logo or a cap is going to be strong. I happened to st stumble upon the fact that Legacy did apparel while at a resort show a few years back, and was immediately elated and instantly wrote an order, thus to find out that they weren't in the college market yet. So I am super thrilled to hear that they're branching into the college market. I've been a, a sales rep in this territory for 30 years and I've never been associated with a company with such explosive growth. It's been a fun ride. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's the right product at the right time in the right markets. I feel lucky because when people interact with the Legacy brand, 99 times out of 100, it's in a very positive setting. What I mean by that is they're at their alma mater for game day weekend. They're at college, their kids graduating, you know, and, and fulfilling a dream. They're on vacation at, at Vail or, or in the Caribbean where they're, you know, letting loose and having fun. And these are the places that people interact with the Legacy brand. So I feel really blessed that there's a sort of a natural built-in, very positive connotation because the places where people first come to know of our product is almost always in a place that's very special to them. Where we've been in life and in our business informs where we're going. And those constants, you know, move forward even as we create and innovate new products and enter new channels. I'm very excited to see where the journey leads next.